Leading Marriage Ministry. My name is Nimrod, and with me is my beautiful and lovely wife, Viz. And together we serve as the shepherding couple of our church here in Davao City. Our topic is fast and pray to be fruitful. You might ask, is it really necessary for us to fast and pray to be fruitful? We're married. We have so many responsibilities. Let the singles in the campus do it. <laughs> Is it really necessary? Well, it depends. Have you been fruitful without fasting and praying? If you have, then do you want to be more fruitful? Then you got to fast and pray. For those who haven't been fruitful for quite some time, or for those who haven't been fruitful in your life, then it is necessary for us to fast and pray if we are really serious and really desire to be fruitful. Let's open our Bibles in the book of John, chapter 15, and let's start reading in verse 1. In John 15, verse 1, the Bible says, I am the vine, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. The Bible is very clear. We cannot bear fruit apart from Jesus Christ. We have to remain in the vine. We have to be attached to Jesus Christ for us to be fruitful. And the best way to do that is through fasting and praying. You see, when we fast, we are expressing to God that we cannot do it without him. We express our desperation for his, for his help. But the question is, how desperate are we to be fruitful? And I hope the scripture will make us desperate because Jesus himself said that he will cut off every branch that bears no fruit. At this time, my, my, my amazing wife will share some practicals. Amen. Often in the Bible, God's people fasted right before a major victory, a miracle, or answer to prayer. So this year, if we truly desire to have successful evangelistic campaigns in our ministry and to be personally fruitful, we should fast and pray. But for our fasting to be acceptable and glorifying to God, we need to remember five things. First, fast with the right heart. Fast with the right heart. God does not accept our fasting when it is not connected with a sincere heart of obedience. For Jesus, fasting is not an option. It is given, and he expects us to do it. Second, extend yourself to the hungry. True fasting is extending ourselves to those who hunger for the word of God. If we truly want to be fruitful family, then we should go after the lost. The physical reminder of hunger should prompt us to pray for afflicted souls and seek to satisfy them through Bible studies. Third, <clears throat> arrange special times with God. We fast and pray so we can have more time to pray and read our Bible. We can set these special times with God during what's supposed to be our meal times. For although we fast and pray to be fruitful, the true reward is our renewed closeness and reliance on God himself. For fasting is intended to draw us to God. Fourth, say no to the body Yes to the spirit. Fasting is not just about skipping meals or giving up something. 
It is about what we do with the time we would have spent eating or recreating. To fast and pray is really about replacing things that satisfy us physically with what God wants us to do for a time and a specific purpose. And fifth, target of the enemy. Let us be aware, family, that the enemy makes, the enemy makes us a great target when, do, when we do all this, because he knows that fasting is the most powerful of all Christian disciplines, and that Satan does not want us to grow in our faith this year. So if we take the first letter of each practical or challenge, it spells feast. This year of mountain moving faith, let us feast on the Lord himself, for only through remaining in Jesus can we bear much fruit and together as Amen. a ministry feast on the great harvest? Amen. To God be the glory. Amen.